I am now at the end of this project. As you can see, I've, I've got the final hem put in. Um, I do have a little bit more loom waste than I would have preferred, but considering how much I've actually used and how much is left, I'm not worried about that. I can always use these um, thrums in uh, smaller projects, such as pot holders or something like that, um, as, as a, or maybe even parts of um, a woven rug, if I wanted to do a rug. Um, so I wanted to show you what I tend to do at the end. And this is very, very difficult for some people to actually do. You have to take your scissors and you have to cut it. And that's all I do. I have multiple projects that I do um, that, that do not have anything to do with each other. So I do not bother to worry about whether these come through the reed again or not. Um, some people will like to loosen this and make sure that the reed is completely, uh, it, it's still threaded um, and then they'll tie on each of the individuals and then wind it on again. I don't bother to do that because every project I do is different. The thumps that you hear are the, <laughs> are the weights. Uh, the small the small fishing weights that I used um, to weight some loose threads that I had. Um, you'll also hear them, um, sorry, you'll also hear them towards the end of this video as well. Ready? Kathunk. And there you go. That's all I do. And then I just unwind the entire thing from the loom.